Today, we're running through one of the leading tools to help accounting firms get tax returns out the door faster. Because the biggest black hole of time during tax season is, is chasing clients for docs, getting the goodies in. But this tool, it is gonna go off and chase your clients for docs automatically. In fact, in the next few minutes, I'm gonna show you how to largely automate uh, document gathering, return delivery, sending it off when the return is done, and document extraction using AI to actually pull the goodies off the government forms and push it push it into your tax software. That's right, today, it's a demo day with this video sponsor, Soraban. They're part of a growing category of tax workflow tools. And I can honestly say I know a growing number of firms who are getting more returns out the door than ever before, thanks to how AI has made these tools like way better than they used to be. Okay, let's get into it. My name's Jason. I last ran a 40 person accounting firm. Now I help people around the world run better accounting firms. So I wanna jump straight in to show you just very simply the power of Soraban. I got a simple client here, John Doe. Hello. I used to mail John a paper organizer, but in 2025, frankly, that's, that's kind of embarrassing. And John usually ignored it anyway. So I'll use Soraban to send John a questionnaire, actually a, a document drop off and important, this pulls, pulls from the tax software, like from John's actual prior years. So it knows the docs I really need from him rather than just giving him this boilerplate, like samey questionnaire. Though if I want to, I can add in my own questions like crypto transactions, like the stuff you wanna ask everybody. But I'll say we're sending it to John Doe. Send it as a document checklist, tax year 2024, due two weeks from now. And I want to include those rollover items. Those are the items that it pulled from last year's tax prep. John here, he works for Example Corp. Work, 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 work. He's got a mortgage from Home Loan Bank. Mm, business, banking, mortgage. And business. is already drawing on his secure retirement fund. Okay, see you next month. Just those three docs, okay? I told you it was a simple one. Now, whatever Sorban sees in the prior year tax software, it'll populate those items down here in a checklist. But we can also add additional items if we want. Like, let's say I wanna uh, get their driver's license, for example. I can add that here. But I'm just gonna hit send. And now on my dashboard, it shows John in the status of sent. Meanwhile, on John's side, John gets an email. Ah, what's this? This is what the email looks like. We'll click open checklist. He's brought directly into Sorban. No password required at this stage. And here's my favorite part. This is where AI has actually massively improved this process. The client can upload any number of docs. So I'll select several here. Uh, you, you, and you. I give it the files, some robots, they, they do some work somewhere, and it automatically recognizes what each of those files are and resolves these checklist items one by one. And this is like an infinitely better client experience than having to go through this like 100 page form and upload documents one by one. Instead, your clients can just dump a pile of docs into Sorban and then just sift through like what's left, what hasn't been resolved. Now, if the client doesn't have a doc, they can click not applicable, or provided elsewhere. Actually, important distinction, those two things are different, right? Well, I'll just, I'll upload something here for driver's license, and then we say complete and confirm. Now, back over on the firm side, I can now see all documents have been provided for John. I can preview each of these docs if I wanna ensure that they're actually what I want. But consider the real power of this view. In my firm, we did something like, 1,600 1040s per year. And whether you do 10 1040s or 10,000 1040s a year, the power is seeing all of your info gathering all in one place. So you know what you have, you know what you don't have, and you know who needs following up with all from a single view. Now, let me show you one more cool kind of info gathering party trick here. Let's say the client gives me a pile of docs directly. Maybe they, you know, they emailed it to me or they dropped it by the office, something like that. I've duplicated this John Doe client now. I'll hop in here, go to documents, and the file I'm gonna put in here, it is a single PDF with all of those documents combined, no separator pages, it's all in a single file. But I'll plop it on here and it'll first do the work of figuring out where each doc begins and ends. Here it says it thinks it's found three items. I can hop into the detail here, I can review it to make sure all those document cutoffs look correct. I'll just hit finish reviewing. Then it does that same association back to the items in the checklist. So we've gone from a big single PDF file down to here are all the items that it has resolved and all the items that I still need from my client. And it's like, it's worth considering the value of this across all of your 1040 projects because the biggest black hole of time in busy season, it's, it's chasing clients for documents. It's your professional staff having to hound those clients. And the result is like, by my estimation, we could probably burn 30% of our time during busy season uh, requesting docs from clients. But before that, figuring out what it is you even need to request, but also making sure the client didn't already give it to you, going through uh, your emails, uh, stuff they may have dropped off at the office. Did they send it to a colleague? But then after that, you still gotta do the 
Follow-ups, John. You still gotta give me four, five, and seven. Oh, I, th I thought I sent that to you. And maybe worst of all, just knowing who I even need to follow up with. I emailed John two weeks ago, who else is on the list? And that whole problem, it compounds in busy season when you have a huge number of projects you're having to juggle this for. Man, I did this for about a decade and it's what makes you get to the end of the day and be like, what did I, what did I actually get done today? You know how sometimes you have those days where you get a bunch of stuff out the door? It's because you have all the info and you can finish projects. Imagine if that were the case, like the default for your 1040s. Now, really exciting thing is happening in, in the software tax firms have available to them. Because the last couple of decades, we've been stuck with our super old school tax prep software. Your UltraTax, uh, Lacert, Pro Series, Drake, Access Tax, whatever it is that you use, these are all like dinosaurs from a bygone era. And they frankly made doing tax work kinda suck because the tech is really bad. You look dumb to your client because you can't give them a modern experience. But right now, this, this is changing. Not the tax software, the tax software still sucks. But all the tools around it are changing. The tools we use for intake, for work paper prep, for delivery, I call these tax workflow tools because they're not like your form prep tax software, but these workflow tools stand to make every other part of the process much better, more efficient. Soroban, they're one of the companies leading the charge here. You'll actually see them out of, a, out of like a whole bunch of accounting conferences this year. Maybe the first time I've ever been excited for tax software. Okay, let's get back to this. Let's look at delivery because Soroban will actually help you automate your tax return deliveries as well. So come down here to deliver. I'll hit John Doe and select his final return. Not, not like final, not like John's final, but the, the return is done. So I'll select his completed return. Soroban processes the return. I'll click into here. I'm gonna have it auto classify the pages in the PDF. That is, it'll try to figure out for itself what all of those pages are. And it builds this little index down the left hand side. And then on the right hand side, we can click through sort of all the different document classifications. What pages are filing instructions, e-signature pages, payment vouchers. I'll hit next. We've got these nav options up on the top here. So we go to the e-signature forms next. In this case, just an 8879, it recognizes the signature fields, taxpayer only on this one, but it'll add a spouse as well if that applies. Next is paper filed returns, none of those here. Next is payments. It determines that these are federal quarterly estimates. I can click through these to make sure that they look correct. For example, on this last 1040 payment voucher, I'll add in a, a payment due date for the client. But then the last screen, simply have to review the email subject line and the message. This is fine to me. We can also enable identity verification via SMS. Probably a good idea, but I'll skip it for this demo. We send it off. John gets another email. Ah, what's this? Here's what that looks like. John has this return to review now, one signature required and five payments remaining. John hops in here, walks him through this step-by-step. Step. Come over here, sign the 8879. And last, the payments. If you click on these, it'll either hand you off to the website to make a payment online, or you can mark if it was paid by check. Once the client has gone through those, back on the firm's dashboard side, you'll see those status updates. And you probably just saved yourself a whole load of time chasing down clients for 8879s. But one other note here on, on delivery, before I show you kind of the last party trick from Sorban, is arguably the greatest thing that automated delivery enables is it actually de-skills the act of delivering a completed tax return. That is, it may be something that you had to do before that now an admin can do for you. So if right now you send the client a personalized email that kind of puts into plain English what all the remaining to-dos are, I did this for years, what this unlocks is now an admin can take that plate, take, take that plate off your work, what? Take that work off your plate for you, delivering returns. In my case, I'm usually not interested in meeting with the client after the return's already done. At that point, it's just kind of the admin of like, just sign this stuff, get the payments out. Any planning opportunities, that ship has largely sailed. I probably wanted to meet with them either when they brought that info in or ideally the year prior, right? When we're doing some planning. So how I deliver tax returns, we've actually done some videos on the channel around this, is I'll record a little three to five minute video walking through the tax return. The client super appreciates it. It usually saves me having to have a meeting at delivery time. And in my case, I will give that, that video or the link for the video to my admin and it's included in the delivery that goes out of Soroban with the completed tax return. So we've de-skilled delivery so that's not your professional staff that has to do it. Now, one more thing I wanna show you. In Soroban, we'll come down here to connect. And this is actually showing what it has used AI to extract from these three tax documents. You can review it down the right hand side here. Not dissimilar to what we've had from OCR in the past, but AI vision models and LLMs have actually made this much more accurate than OCR had made it. If you ever went down that path like me, it was like, 
it's okay, but I, I still can't blindly trust it. So is OCR really saving me time? AI has made this much more accurate. So you can review what it extracted down the right hand side. Probably not you, probably an admin. I'll mark the docs as reviewed and then flip over to the export tab. I can export each of the data from these documents to my tax software. I can export those individually or I can just come up here and bulk select and say schedule for export. Now, it takes about an hour to process this, to push the data through to your tax software. And I wish that wasn't the case, but the reality is it's because there's no direct way to integrate with your tax software. So it takes kind of some rough like workarounds to push that data in there. And for me, having that option is still better than nothing. Last, I can come up here and download a little lead sheet with all the info that it extracted. It's got all the docs here and you see the tabs are organized by form type. Very cool stuff here from Sorban. I'll put a link to them down in the video description. Super recommend, like hop on a demo call with them, have them run through how they can be plugged into your workflows, kick the tires on it, throw like some big ugly projects at it, see how it does. And I can tell you, I actually know a growing number of firms that are using Sorban far beyond 1040 stuff. They're even using it for entity intake. We're kind of like just scratching the surface here. Now this has been a demo day and we have, we've now demoed a whole bunch of really, really cool tech for tax firms. And I recently put together a playlist of some of my favorites. Buddy, uh, get ready for the rabbit hole of all rabbit holes. Check out this playlist right up here. You get, you're gonna find some good stuff. You will.